Hello crew, how are you? So another day, another Facebook change. <laughs> so I'm going to share something with you today that you may or may not have. I didn't have this up until yesterday, I think it was, because I looked the day before and I didn't have it. And I looked yesterday and I did have it. So what am I talking about? I'll get to that in a moment. How is everybody? So as you're jumping on, make sure you say hello and let us know where you are coming in from. Um, it's always interesting in relation to social media because there's always changes um, to keep on top of. This one I find quite interesting and it's actually going to give you um, a bit more control with what you see in your news feed. So you will be able to choose uh, which kind of news feed that you want to see. So I'll share that with you a moment and I'll show you on my phone. I was going to be organised enough to share my mobile phone on the screen, but I've just got enough another call and had heaps of messages, so I just haven't got time to set that up, but I'll, I'll show you visually um, through the screen. Okay, so just a couple of reminders. We are on day three of our boot camp, which is all about helping you learn to attract people, more people to you and build influence on social media. So if that is something that you need to do, um, you want to attract more customers to you, you want to attract more business builders to you, there is, um, you know, a strategy to that. There are things that you need to do to attract people to you. There is a certain... Um, you know, structure to what you do in your business online to help you build your influence. So that's what we've been running over the last two days and we've got day three today. And day three, I'm going to concentrate on building out um, like a daily method of operation for you, a DMO, to help you achieve that. Okay, so we've got great content for today. It is not too late to join us. The link to join the boot camp is up above. It's just getting into a uh, coaching community and there's no lock-in periods with the coaching community you can leave whenever you like um, but everything is recorded so even if you can't join us today for day three live everything is recorded you can just get into the group and watch the recordings at your pleasure so there's that um, the next video challenge starts next week so that starts on October 28th I am going live in the video challenge group um, today so it's after after the boot camp, um, to give you the content for days one to three for that. So if you would like to join us for our free 14-day online crew video challenge, the link above um, is for that as well in the description of the video. No matter whether you're watching from uh, my business page or the free group, um, the links are up above. So that's completely free. I guide you with the technical skill and the content for the 14 days. So if you are avoiding live video or you've dropped off the bandwagon and you don't have that consistency going, that's exactly where you need to be in that group. Okay. So let's see who is here. We've got Gloria, uh, Brigitte, we've got Chantel. Hello again. We've got Patricia. Hello, Davina. Good to see you here. We've got uh, Megan. Hello, Christine. How are you going? We've got Shirley, Monica, Judy and Bob is here. We've got Cindy and all sorts of other people joining us today. So well done. We've got Crystal here as well and Beth. Um, great to see you guys all jumping on. So I'll get straight into the content and share that uh, share it with you. Facebook is testing and trialing three different news feeds. So do you know what I'm talking about? I'm curious to know whether you've seen this pop up, whether you've heard about it or um, you're oblivious to it. Um, you may or may not have it. As I said, um, I only got it yesterday. I've been watching for the last couple of days because I prefer to be able to show you things rather than say, um, you know, and sometimes I can't. You guys might have things that I don't have, but I did get this yesterday. So the three news feeds are, the, the headings of them, uh, just let me quote them properly. Home, so the normal news feed that you would normally see. Favourites, and I'll explain the differences um, about them in a moment. There's a favourites news feed and there's a recent news feed. So there's just your normal news feed or a favourites news feed or a recent news feed. So your home news feed is driven by your algorithm. So that is driven by who you communicate with on Facebook, who communicates with you, 
what kind of information you search. That's all tracked. So whatever you look at more, you'll just get more content of the same thing. If you start searching a certain thing on Facebook, guess what your news feed is going to be full of moving forward. If you, I didn't know this initially, but when I started first researching how do I build my business online and following people and gurus and stuff like that, that were doing attraction marketing and things like that, I didn't realize I was being then majorly targeted by every other guru and all their ads. You know, that's where it can come back at you as well in your news feed from people in that space because I'm sending triggers to Facebook of what I like, what I'm researching, what I'm connecting with, and that sends all these triggers to Facebook. Oh, Helen Martin likes this and likes that and likes this, and so that's what Facebook will send me more of. Same with your friends and the people that you communicate with. Um, you know, if you're communicating with people more often, then you will see more of their stuff. So you have an opportunity in what you do to turn that around. You can change the algorithm. You have control of that with the activity that you do. So if you've got certain people in your sites that you would prefer your content to be in their newsfeed, then go to their newsfeed and interact with them, leave them messages, and hopefully they communicate back. And so that sends signals to Facebook, oh, these two people like each other. They're communicating. So I'm going to send more content of this person to that person and that person to this person. So if you're strategic and you've got the time and attention to put into that, you can actually turn around what you see in your newsfeed. So that's sort of what, what is triggered now by your normal home newsfeed. So the next one is favourites. And favourites is triggered by people that you choose um, to see first. So do you guys know what I mean when you go to somebody's, you know, maybe a fan page of somebody and they tell you turn your notifications on like I do and it's in my pinned post at the top of my business page, turn your notifications on of my page because not everybody sees, you know, every stuff. I've got over 16,000 followers on this page but Facebook doesn't send my invitation to all, my information to all 16,000 people but if you turn your notifications on, you will see it. Otherwise, you'll miss a lot of my free training and stuff like that. So make sure you turn your notifications on. So you may have done that with a number of, um, you know, people or gurus or fan pages, those kind of things. So when those people that you've done that with, that's what you're going to see in that news feed. So that's an interesting news feed because who you've chosen as, um, you know, favourites, people to see first, turn the notification on in that news feed, you're going to see more of the information that you've actually requested to see first, okay? So that technically should happen in your home news feed, but it doesn't always work out that way. But the second news feed talking about favourites, that's what that, that is triggered by. So your favourites, people that you're following, you'll see their content first. So you also have the opportunity to choose which news feed um, you see all the time. So you can switch between home, you could test out favourites for a while. Um, you probably won't see, which is a good thing, you probably won't see as many sponsored posts in the favourites ones. So do you guys know what I mean when I say, um, you know, sponsored posts? Is when you're scrolling through your news feed, you'll see a friend, um, you know, maybe somebody you follow, but then you'll see a sponsored post. So this, if you see something that says sponsored post, that's obviously, um, you know, a paid ad. Um, and we see a lot of them. So when you go to the favourites news feed and that's triggered by people that you follow, you still might see sponsored posts from that person, but it's probably more going to be filled with organic content rather than sponsored posts. Now, the last one, is called recent. So what is the most recent content that's out there in Facebook, still driven by the algorithm in who you connect with and, um, you know, pe still people that you follow and stuff like that maybe, but it's the more like just recent content. But I imagine, we'll test that in a minute, I imagine that you're going to see a lot more sponsored posts in that third one. So you'll probably get a lot more ads put in front of you because that's just the recent content that's gone out. So let me show you that um, in a moment. Um, if there's anybody new here to our page, welcome. Please make yourself known to our community here. If we've not met before, my name's Helen Martin and I help home-based um, business 
entrepreneurs, direct sellers, network marketers, anybody with a home-based business type structure, bring their business online and navigate um, you know, the, the online world to build your business with modern online strategies. I'm in the industry myself of network marketing. I'm building a team all around the world. We just had a call just before um, I, this live here. So hello to you guys that are, that are on and watching. Um, but I'm sort of playing around and executing um, you know, what I'm teaching you guys in the field. So things that I like, don't like, um, you know, executing, I'll always bring to you guys because my choice of method to build in this industry is with attraction marketing strategies rather than, you know, hassling people. Um, so if that's not your style, you're in the right place. Okay. So, um, oh, I've got lots of voice messages. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Somebody's just alerted me to something. Oops. I'm leaving a little note for myself. Okay. So let me go to my Facebook. So if you're watching from your phone, you can minimize me. Um, by clicking the three dots um, up the top and actually navigating your screen, but to, or just check this later if you can't navigate that. Or if you're watching me on a computer and you've got your phone handy, have a look at this as I show you, okay? So I'm just going to go to Facebook and I'm going to go to the, oh, what was I doing four years ago? Oh, we were going to the motorbikes at Phillip Island. There you go, sorry. <laughs> Screw all moment. So I'm going to Facebook, okay? I'll just dull my screen a little bit to make it a little bit easier to look at. Okay, so I'm in my Facebook there. So I'm on, like, I'm on the home button here. Oh, and I, I want to share something with you about what's going on down here as well. Um, so hopefully I'll remember to do that. So I'm in my home screen. Now, let me just test this better work. Oh, it does. Okay. So this is a bit weird how this comes up. So you're going to have to follow along with me and look really carefully for these options to come up with the three different news feeds. Because when you look at my home screen at the top there, there's nothing to indicate or choose, you know, a different news feed. It only pops up when you start scrolling. So watch carefully. So I've got my phone and apologies, I probably should have had my phone up on the screen, but just I was too busy to coordinate that before I came on live. So watch what happens when I start scrolling. Okay, can you see it there? Can you see three headings up the top which says home, favourites and recent? So let me do that again. I just come back to my home screen. It's not there. Those options are not there. But I just simply start scrolling up and now they are, now they, so I've got to keep my finger there. Now they're up the top, home, favourites and recent. So you will always be defaulted to home, okay? So let's choose favourites and see some of the things. So, oh, look at that. I'm one of my favourites. <laughs> So I'm watching myself, okay? So it is showing me, and I do follow Jay Shetty. I think he's awesome. He has some great inspirational content. I do follow Mel Robbins. So I'm. these are all my favourites that are coming up that I'm seeing. Um, many chat, that's a chat box that I use in my business. So I would have at some stage probably added them in to see their stuff. Um you know, there's a health one, um, Kerwin Ray, I follow him. I think he's got great content. I share that often with you guys um, here. Um, so this is very true to who I follow. So in the favourites, I am seeing the material of the people that I follow. So where this is good is for you to really dial in and make your time on social media more effective. But what you might want to do, and I'll show you how to do this in a minute, is check in on who you've actually marked as your favourites as see first because you might not want to see their information anymore. You may have chosen somebody six months ago or a year ago um, that you wanted to see first then. Like I've got a I've got a healthy one here from a doctor, but I don't really follow her anymore. So I'd probably take that off my favourites. So I can control what uh, who my favourites are. So when I go and switch over to favourites, 
I'm going to just see the content that I want to see. What do you think about that? Do you think that's going to be more effective use of your time? It'll also be people you follow. So it could be friends of yours that, um, you know, you, you, you follow people on social media or gurus that you follow. I mean, that, that was quite funny that, that um, I, I'm there in my favourites. I'm seeing my own life <laughs> there. Um, but it gives you more control. Um, so you can scroll through that and have a look at that and think, oh, I don't really want to see that person's information anymore, whatever. I'll get to, um, you know, how to do that in a moment. So the next one over is recent. So let's have a look at recent. So what am I getting here? So the interesting thing is that I'm getting groups. So there's an entrepreneurs group that I'm in. Um, and that literally says just now just now that was posted in that group. So it's interesting how they're going to vet this because I'm in a lot of groups. I follow a lot of pages and stuff like that. So how they decide what I see, um, I would just be, I would start to watch this if you've got these options. If you don't, they are tend, um, intending to roll this out, um, you know, to everyone. So just keep an eye on it. But just remember, it won't, you won't see it straight away you actually have to start scrolling before you see the three options but just play with it go and have a look around so um yeah have a look at that very second one is a sponsored post um i'm not even sure who that is but somebody's personal post has just popped up from a minute ago a facebook friend of mine is hosting a watch party from a minute ago there's another group a minute ago. So seriously, this is very, very recent. Um, another sponsored post. I'm not showing you just for privacy sort of reasons. Um, so these are people that I'm connected to. StreamYard I use, sponsored post. So you're going to see a lot more ads and sponsored posts in the third one. Okay, so interesting. You might just want to flip, um, you know, back and forth between them to just sort of have a look around at what you like seeing. But the favourites, I think, is a good opportunity to be more effective with your time in seeing what, what um, sort of you want to see. So you can manage favourites with up to 30 people. So you can choose and um, take off people from your favourites with up to um, sort of 30 people, okay? And see this little, uh, so I'll just go back to home. Um, hang on. Sorry, just going to change that. I just go to recent there. See this little option here. Where am I pointing? See that one there? So the two little circles, far right, two little circles there. If I click on that, look what I get, your news feed. Um, so I was just in recent with what I was showing you. So it's defaulted to that because I chose it. But I can choose here which one that I want to default my news feed to so, and what will show up. So I could clean up my favourites and choose that one and you're, you're only seeing favourites posts from the last three days and that's what, that's what it's going to default to when I open up my phone. So if I just do that again, I'm just going to change it to home for now, up the top. Um, but you have the opportunity with those circles um, to change which one you want to see. Now, you've got down here, manage what you see in the news feed with your preferences. So go here. And when you go into there, this is where you control your follows and your unfollows. So who's in your favourites? Click on your favourites. And you're going to get a whole list of the people that um, you follow, okay? So you can go into that and unfollow people if you don't want to follow people anymore. So when you're in your favourites newsfeed, it's only pulling up who you want to see, okay? So let me just show you that one more time. We've got the circles over here. They'll only come up when you start scrolling from the bottom and you go up and you see those three options. And then you want to go to Newsfeed Preferences. So I go into Newsfeed Preferences, then I can click on my favourites 
and that's going to um, that's going to then give me this massive list of all these people that I follow. So if I want to change that, so let's pick up Kerwin Ray, remove from favorites, or learn why he's prioritized. So just remove. I can remove him from my favorites if I don't want to see him in that favorites list anymore. So what do you think about that, guys? I think this is pretty cool because of the favorites um, newsfeed. You can control that. If you want to see somebody's content, make sure you're not missing any of their content. You can add them to your favorites. You can go into the preference there, take all the people off that you don't follow anymore. You don't really want to see their content anymore. So you know then when you've cleaned all of that up that you can go to that favorites newsfeed and it's only going to put in front of you what you've chosen to see. And I imagine um, that you are going to see very few sponsored posts, although um, you will see them because, you know, I've chosen someone like Kerwin Ray and he does, a lot of, uh, he does a lot of ads. So does Mel Robbins. So you'll still see them. I just don't think you're going to see, you know, as many, as many of them as you will in the recent um, so what do you think? Who's got it? I'm just going to check in uh, the comments here. Uh, so Christine has it. I've been checking it out and seeing if it's good or not. Um, no real opinion yet. Okay. Um, good morning. Cracking miracle morning in Newcastle. Uh, no worries. Oh, happy birthday. Happy 12th birthday to your little man. That's cool. Um, hey, Edith, how are you? So who else has got it? So Olive has it. Did you know you have it? That's the other question that I want to ask. I've just been hanging out to tell you for a few days until I got it because I didn't have it. So I've known about it, but I didn't have it. Um, yes, you have it. I like this favourites. gives me more control. I agree with you, Cindy. And one of my pages is one of my favourites. You can also choose who you want to add and not add. Correct. Um, I love it. Very cool. Patricia doesn't have it yet. Okay, so keep looking out, remembering the only way that you can actually see it is by starting to scroll. If you just go to your home screen and expect to see it, you just won't see it. So it, it's there's no indication here. I have to start doing this. There it is. So it started to pop up, up the top there. So I would encourage you, one, to look whether you've got it or not. Two, to go and see the differences between the news feed, see which one um, you like. But three, go and clean up your favorites. Go and clean up the people that you follow. If there's somebody newer that you want to follow but you haven't put C first or you're not following them, add them in. So that becomes a really effective news feed for you. We've got to be efficient on time on social media, guys. It's way too busy um, for us not to be. Um, how many of you get distracted with social media? You go to your phone to do something, something pops up in Facebook and 30 minutes later you're like, now what did I come to my phone to do? <laughs> It's a, it's a big distraction sometimes. I have it. looks pretty cool. Uh, no, I did not know I had it. Great. Awesome. Aldith has it. Uh, had no idea, Brigitte. So I'm glad this is helpful. I've had this for a couple of days. Interesting, with lots more control. Um, I'm going to check out right after this. Awesome. So if you didn't know you had it, now you do. Um, just go and play with it um, and make it work to your advantage. Um, a couple other things just to make you aware, um, not Facebook related, but some other updates that have happened in the last sort of week or so are with Instagram. So Instagram is going to allow chatbots. Do you know what chatbots are? They're automated messaging services and we've allowed to have them on Facebook for quite some time now. So um, they're allowing um, Instagram now to have the capabilities to attach a chatbot. So look out for those of you that are regular on um, Instagram. I'm doing some Instagram training next month in my boot camp for, for those of you in my coaching community. And there, when you go to message somebody in Instagram, some of you may have already seen this, there's a notification that comes up that says there is a new way to message what does it exactly say? New way to message on Instagram. And it'll um, ask you if you want to do it, but when you do it, you can't go back. So just be aware of that. There's a new way of messaging on Instagram. So if you get that alert message on Instagram, then um, just, just know 
that if you do press the button to use the new way, you can't go back. A lot of things with Facebook, we've been given the opportunity to go back and forth, but this one with messaging and Instagram, once you go forward, you're staying forward, okay? But there's no real issues with it, apparently. Um, there's no cause for concern, so just move forward and just um, adopt it. So there's been a few changes with Instagram. They're even going to allow, and this may not be relevant to you, but they're even going to allow influencers on Instagram to sell badges to raise some money. So I don't know much more about it at the moment, but um, yeah, there'll be badges that pop up on the screen and people can buy. And so influencers can make more money out of Instagram. So we'll see where that one ends up. Okay. So um, yeah, go and play, but more importantly, go and troll, control your favorites. So that Facebook news feed, as far as favorites go, is really, really beneficial for you. So you're not missing any cool training from people that you love to follow. Um, you could just quickly scroll through the favorites, see what's going on, whether you need to look at something or not. Um, so you can have much more control of that. I think the purpose of that is twofold. Uh, one, to give people more control of what they see in their feed so the user experience is more pleasurable. Uh, Facebook is all about the user experience. But the other side of it is three different news feed probably is going to create maybe more income streams for Facebook as far as Facebook advertising. So whether they actually then say, okay, this is the general news feed, but do you want to pay us more money and get in the favourites? or get in the recent. I don't know, but, um, you know, that could be a strategic move on Facebook's um, uh, Facebook side of things to maybe generate some more money. But ultimately, I'm sure it's about the user experience being more what you want it to be rather than what Facebook decides to put in front of you. Okay, so have fun with that. So in 15 minutes time, um, those of you in my coaching community or it's not too late to join us, the link is above to get into our coaching community. I'm doing day three of build your social influence and attraction factor um, on Facebook. Remember, it's all recorded. If you can't join us live, um, just get yourself into the group to get the training. And as a bonus, you get every other boot camp I've ever, ever done, which is thousands and thousands of thousands of dollars worth of um, practical training, you know, from branding to Facebook advertising, network prospecting, Facebook groups, chatbots, you name it, it's in there. Okay. Um, so huge bonus to um, being part of our coaching community. Uh, so if you're party to the boot camp, I'll see you in 15 minutes. The rest of you, I probably should have said this in the beginning for those that have already dropped off. Um, I'm not going live tomorrow. So um, I will see you next week now. The reason for that is my boys started their tennis season last week and I couldn't go because I was here and I had a call with my network marketing team straight after our call. So I couldn't go last week. But where they're playing tennis tomorrow, there's no internet and they've only got two courts, which means they're going to be playing for hours. And I'm going to be a mum tomorrow. So I hope that's okay with you guys. I'm not going to go live tomorrow because I'm going to watch my boys play tennis and uh, there's no internet out there. Even just to quickly duck around the, you know, the building and do a live, I can't do that because there's no internet out there. So mum time for me tomorrow. So I will look forward to seeing you guys next week for more great training don't forget the video challenge starts next week get yourself into the group because there's things that you need to do before we get started on the 28th so don't leave it till the last minute invite your friends in there and I will be in the video challenge group after the uh after the boot camp today so so later in my time zone but just keep an eye out for a video in the video challenge group for content for days one to three so you're all ready to go for next week okay guys thank you for joining me here today it's always a pleasure to be here with you guys and talk to you get your feedback and i will see you either in 15 minutes or next week okay guys bye